Okay guys, so getting ready to decorate my little jewelry thing. So I have this in the apartment. Um, so I kind of like rearranged it and I had, I had to put my Cartier stuff out here too. I love Cartier. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love it so much. Um, the meaning behind the love collection, that is what I love about Cartier. Um, and the Trinity, the Trinity is, is also a good collection, but, um, yeah. So this is my little, like, I don't know, like decorative thing. Like we have our room and then our restroom. So yeah, so we have that. And there you go. There's my Cartier stuff. This is the box. Oop. This is one of the box for the rings, but I just have it here. And then I need to put that. I need to put a picture. And then down here, I just have like a Tiffany, um, what to call it, like baggy because I didn't know what to do with it. And I didn't want to like just throw it. I was like, yeah, I'm putting it there. So let's go into the room so we can organize my jewelry kind of thing okay so this is what we're working on right now so i have uh, can it yeah so i have some of my boxes and this is one of my jewelry things i, I yes i know i have random stuff i have my dice in here and then i have some of the perfumes and lotions and body mist that I ended up bringing home with me um, so I do want to organize this I think that I want to get like a shelf here maybe to have a little bit more space and kind of to decorate like have either the perfumes on the bottom or the boxes on top the boxes don't have yeah the boxes don't have much but I mean they're just boxes in the and whoop, boxes and uh, bags, but we'll see what we can do with this. <sighs> Let's see. But it is kind of like hard because of the clothes that's here. I can't like really open the door because yeah, it'll it'll close. But still, let's see what we can do with this. So like, this is. This was my gift for my birthday. Um, my boyfriend had ordered me the white gold thin version. Um, it came in this big box. And so in this big box, I have what it came. So it came with the little box. With the little box. And came inside of here with one of the bags and then i have another bag for another of my uh rings and then um oh this is when we actually went to the boutique and we got little samples oh let me see we got little samples of these perfumes this is my favorite my favorite. It's the Cartier Le Panther, I think. Yeah. And then, I don't know why, but I always save the little things that come in the... Whenever they wrap it. I love little things like that. So we have that that we need to fix. And then we have a, this one. This one just has the one with my... I think this was... Yeah, this one was the Trinity that I have and then this one this big one is the one that came with my bracelet um, and it has a little screwdriver I have this because it's easier for me to grasp and then the travel pouch um, it came with a baggie and then yeah that's it so we need to put all those boxes in here and organized here with my jewelry too so we'll see how we can fix this 
let's probably do a time lapse. I keep the littlest, littlest things. I don't know why, but I just, I love it. So you see, I have another box here. This box, I keep it out again because I love it so much. It has the actual like ring box inside of here. So, yes, has the ring box. And so I just, I keep it, I keep it in here. If I can do it with one hand, it'll be amazing. Uh, oh my goodness, yes. And then this is a little like travel pouch for the rings, but it's just only for one ring. Um, and so here is where I keep like all my rings. If I have to like take them out, that is where I'll put them. But this is what we did. So this is what we did. I just, I kept my lotions on this side. I don't like it whenever it's like turned, you can't see the name. So, okay. Um, these are the body lotions that I have. Some of the perfumes that I have. Body mist, deodorant, my jewelry box, and then my Cartier stuff. So I know for sure like here, I can put like a like a wood kind of shelf looking thing and then i can probably put like this up here this down here um so this is the one that has the screwdriver for my bracelet this one's my trinity this one's uh my ring and then this is where the ring came in one of the rings came in um but i love the box it's so sturdy i love it and I love the bags, the ribbon. Um, so I, I actually like it. I like how it looks now instead of having a big mess that I had. But um, yes, I don't know why like this makes me so happy. Like I like to see it very organized. Um, yes, so I'm probably going to keep it like that until I get a shelf right here. So Hi guys, well... It's another day, <laughs> as you can see of the, what I'm wearing. I just, I noticed that the other video that I filmed yesterday was a little bit too short. So I was like, let me give them a little bit more of my jewelry. Of course, why not, right? Um, so I am sitting on the floor, but it's okay because the lighting in the living room and in the dining room is just atrocious. I was like, yep, nope. It's too much. So I am sitting on the floor for this video, but it's okay, I don't mind. Um, so I kind of did like a uh, jewelry organization thing, but more of like my boxes. Um, I like to display them so much. I, I don't know why, I love the color red. I love the meaning behind Cartier. So yes, that's why I love it so much. Like if our house, can be like completely filled with Cartier, it would. My arm would be stacked with the bangles. My rings stacked with my rings. My fingers <laughs> stacked with Cartier rings. I just, I love it. It's a jewelry that I, that I love so much. I cherish every single one of them. Each of them have a meaning behind it. Um, and I will forever be grateful for every single piece that I have. And i that's why I keep every single box, every single bag, um, where it comes from, because they just, they mean so much to me. So let's get on to the talking. And if you see me looking down, yes, we have a 
guest. Hi. So this is Canela. She's my oldest dog, but this video is not for you. This video is about Cartier. Okay? Love you. And the other one's eating. So anyways, guys, um, I kind of wanted to do this a little bit more of like my wear and tear of my jewelry, the sizing, and um, what else? I, uh, yeah, wear and tear pros and cons for this. Uh, so let's get on to it. Okay. So the first thing is the boxes. So this is the ring box. Okay, so... Some come with the ring thing that you can go, like, it goes right here. So, let me see. I can show you. So, it came in like that. Just like that. Oop. I don't know how to, yeah. Okay. So, I have three of those boxes because I have a three rings. So I have one here, one over there, and then one in our dresser, on top of our dresser. So that's where I keep them. Um, these are the ones that are displayed in my little like uh, organizer closet little thing that I have inside my closet. Uh, and then this one, the big one, this was my first one. Um, this was or is, sorry, is the one for the bracelet. So, it's just like that. You get the screwdriver in here. And like I said, I just, I put this little uh, tie and the tape because I heard, I saw on YouTube that if you put tape, you don't scratch your bracelet whenever you're doing the, like the little, um, screwdrivers like to lock it it doesn't scratch it that much um but i mean i put mine since the day that i got it i think i think i'm not sure and then this is just to like really like hold it because i do have like sweaty hands so if i have to tie it up or something i do wear a lot of lotion as well so i don't want it to be like slippery um so i just have this just to and i usually just like put it in in the box and then it comes with a travel pouch. Um, but yeah, so that's where this one can go. Or I have taken this whenever like I travel and I try to put like all my rings in case if I have to put my rings in here or other jewelry, like I'll just, I'll use this even if it's not like my Cartier jewelry. So yeah. And then, and this one is a little bit smaller than, ooh, than the so yeah you can see like it's a little bit smaller but bigger than the ring one so i usually stack them up like that that's how i i kind of like the stack i don't know call me crazy so this is the one that my trinity bracelet came in so the bracelet just literally just came in like that and that that's it um, this one I don't wear as often because, uh, of the little, like, wherever we have to tie it up, sometimes it can get annoying. And so, I mean, I'll wear it, like, I'll use it every now and then, and I'll wear it for, like, a month, and then I take it out. Uh, I usually, I work out every day, so it's the cord, the silk cord, and I know that Texas doesn't really change the cords anymore after the yeah, after COVID happened like they don't switch the cords or they'll like give you a number or customer service or something so you can change it and yeah that's not gonna happen like, I'm not gonna change it by myself so and then we don't live close to a Cartier so we would have to make the drive to uh, Dallas or Houston and just to change the cord I don't think so <laughs> so um I mean, probably next time that we go to Cartier, I'll probably ask or call them before and ask if we can change it and then maybe hopefully they can because I think in the UK they're already doing it. Um, but we'll see. I want it red. I don't know. I've been, I, I love red. Cartier. 
I love red. Um, my watch is red, so yes, I love, I love red. Um, so hopefully I get to change it to red. Okay, so now the wear and tear of the bracelets. Bracelets, I only have one bracelet, well, that one. This one, I can't really say much about it because I don't wear it as, it's not like a daily thing that I wear it. So far it has, it nothing has come apart. The rings are still good. It's three rings, it's the gold, the rose gold, and the white gold. And they all look pretty good to me. No scratches, I guess because like I said, I don't wear it as often. I do wear it, but not as often as my other pieces. And so maybe that's why it's not that scratched. But, and then my love bracelet. This one I've had, I wanna say already three years with it, I think. Her birthday just passed, I think it was January or February 1st or something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember, but her birthday passed, so happy birthday. Um, this one does have a lot of scratches, especially on the bottom because of how it bangs up on the surface. The other one made it. So this is Chelly's. Right now she's wearing her little bear suit because last night was really cold. Um, so this is my other little baby. She made the appearance. Oh my God, I just noticed it. C for Chelly's, C for Canela, and Cartier. Oh my goodness. Well, her name's Elise. Elise. Um, but we call her Chelly's. So, yes. Okay, there she goes. <laughs> All right. So yes, uh, back to this. So the cons is yes, they everything, all the jewelry, um, they do get really scratched up, really scratched up. So if you're someone that really doesn't like their jewelry to scratch, I do not recommend this at all. Um, the more scratches it has, that means that it's more loved because you keep wearing it over and over again. And so every scratch has has a meaning, uh, but I don't mind it. I know you can get it polished, uh, but it just, if you get it polished, I think it's like they're removing like a coat of the gold and that's not good. So I don't think I will ever get it polished. Um, maybe just cleaned, but not polished. I don't see myself taking it off honestly unless it's an emergency then i'll take it off but as of right now i don't see it taking it off um and then my rings i mean sometimes i do take my rings off uh to shower or to work out sometimes i'm just like not feeling it i do love to wear my rings even if i'm not doing anything i don't know it just makes me feel good and so yes but uh this is the wedding ring let me see there you go. So that's the wedding love ring. And it's so dainty. I love it so much. There you go. I love it so much. And it's just, uh, it's just tiny. And I mean, it's dainty. And if you're not someone that really loves um, thick jewelry, I think this one is perfect for you. Uh, the I think... This is the love ring, the thick version, and then this is the uh, wedding band in white gold. So it's the this one and this one are the same, just this one is in white gold and this one is in yellow gold. But as you can guys see, it is very scratched, all of them, and that is disgusting. I have to clean that. It has a little... I don't know what that is, probably from the little balls of the hand sanitizer, but yes, um, they do get scratched really quick. I I still have a video of this, of both of them, I think, or all of them, of when I actually got them. Um, so if you want to see that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, pinkally774, and you can see more pictures of my Cartier jewelry, but... 
yes, they do get scratched up a lot. That's the only con thing about them. Um, but it's okay. I don't mind it. I still love them. And they are a great investment. These rings are going to be passed down from generation to generation. That is my plan to do. I hope one day I have a baby girl and gift her all this, of course, whenever she is of age. Um, but yes, I, I love them every day. It just, it reminds me of love. I mean, which I mean, they don't have to remind me of love, right? Because I love love <laughs> but yes so yes cartier is a somewhat of a luxury um high-end jewelry but hey like if you really want that ring or if you really want that bracelet you should get it you should get it i recommend them um the only thing is like obviously if you don't like the scratches then it's not worth you spending so much money on it wearing it um so yes like i i encourage you to get yourself one if you really want it or if you've been thinking about getting it i think you should the bracelet and the rings they are classy they are edgy they go with every single outfit like you can dress it up dress it down it doesn't matter um still it, it they are a big part of my everyday and i love either if i'm wearing active wear if i'm wearing just like um je jeans and a t-shirt if i'm wearing a baggy sweater and leggings if i'm wearing a dress doesn't matter they are always looking good um but Yes, guys, if you love luxury, um, I say you should get it. You should get it if you want it that much. Um, obviously, we save a lot of money for these things, and we, jo we don't just get them just to get. Um, this one, I know we had thought about it so long, me and my mom, like, and she was, okay, let's, let's do it. She wants it um so <laughs> that's why and then the ring it was my three-year anniversary that my boyfriend got me for and again i i still love it and it's like it's part of our wedding stack um and then this one he got it for my birthday i honestly i wasn't expecting it i had i had told him that i wanted one but i didn't i didn't tell him like can you get it for me so it was it was a pleasant surprise that he got me uh, the wedding. Oops, sorry guys. Um, he got me this one for my last birthday, and then this one I got myself just because I, that year. Well, I mean, I think it was two years in a row that we had gone through so much at the hospital that I had put in a lot of overtime. So I was like, okay, like. I deserve this ring. I deserve this ring. Um, and just like I said, because of the meaning behind it, the word loves I mean so much to me. Let me pull up, because I keep telling you guys like, oh, love, love, love. Like it means so much to me of what it means, like of the brand. But maybe you guys won't even know what it really means. So let me look it up. The bracelet says, it's an oval shape, means it sits tight around the wearer's wrist that's physically screwed on to signify the presence of true love since two people are needed to secure the screws ever since then the love bracelet has become a symbol of love and commitment due to this design um and so yes so the love rings have the little screwdriver kind of looking thing so it looks exactly like the bracelet just a smaller version and so it just love means so much to me i don't know i don't know how to explain it to you guys but it just it means so much to me um so yeah so that's why this collection means a lot to me and 
if you are really looking for jewelry that is high-end and you want to wear it every day with any occasion i say you should get it treat yourself treat yourself girl yes <laughs> um but the sizing part is tricky um i don't recommend you guys going to the website um i mean yes you can but try to do the sizing i don't know like elsewhere um because the website is just not too good um when i went to check out the ring size i mean online i was like okay like i'm a five i'm a five i'm a five and so when I went to the boutique, I was like, oh, yes, like they they asked me for my size and I was like, yeah, I'm a five. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I had, I had said I was a five. And so they gave me this five and the five didn't fit. I was like, wait, what? They don't fit? Um, for my ring finger, sorry. So uh, I think I got a, oops, my dog. <laughs> I think I got a five and three quarters, I think. I'm not too sure, but I, I, I want to say I did. And so that's why it's kind of tricky. So you need to go to the boutique in order for you to um, get your ring size correctly. Because then on this one, usually on my index finger and on my middle finger, I'm a seven. And the seven was way too big on me. So I had to get a six and three fourths. So I'm a five on here, five and three fourths, and then six and three fourths on my ring fingers. I mean, on my middle fingers. Oh my God. Every single video, I can't talk, I can't talk. Anyways, so yes, the sizing is a little bit off. So if, if you have the chance, the opportunity to go to a boutique, I would recommend you going in order to, so you can get the size that fits right. And then for the bracelet, this one, uh, I think when my mom got it, I think size 17 was the only size available, I think. And so that's why she got me the 17, which sometimes I do prefer a uh, like upper, more fitted look. Uh, so yeah, like I kind of wish it was a size 16, but it's okay. Like I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. It's okay. Um, so yeah. But the bracelet is a little bit more, I think you can like measure it with a measuring tape and then figure out your size. Uh, Cause I know, I remember my mom did that to me. She measured my wrist and she went by like the sizing that they had there and that's how we chose it. But I think, cause my wrist is a 15 and a half and I want to say that they didn't have the 16 or I don't know or maybe she just thought that it was a 17 all along and she that's why she grabbed 17 but um that's that's the sizing more or less they just get a measuring tape measure it and then just go off of what they have there like if if you think you're a 17 but would like a, a like a bigger kind of like a bigger fit a looser fit sorry then go up a size if you want it tighter go down a size just remember that sometimes your extremities will swell summer is one of them so i'm glad i'm glad i <laughs> we sized up um on the ring side sometimes in winter i do feel like oh, man like we should have sized down but honestly like when it's summer I'm like, okay, no, like, we did good, we did good, I did good. And picking out the, the ring sizes. If you have any any questions, comment down below. Like I said, DM me on, on Instagram. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell uh, notification so you get to get notified whenever I upload. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.